how's everyone doing? Uh, I want to be going over a modified installation of the Oedro 52 inch light bar and two 4 inch uh, pod lights. It's their tri LED, tri row LED system. Um, as you can see, my Jeep here has a Gobi roof rack that utilizes many of the A-pillar bolts that the brackets that come with this light bar use. So I will not be able to use those brackets and retain my roof rack, and I much rather want to retain my roof rack. So what I'm going to do, uh, I've already installed on this side, is uh, made by KC Highlight, which is a side window mount uh, where I'm going to put the pod lights. For the light bar, I'm going to weld just basic sheet metal and make an L bracket that can fit by these two bolts will go through and an L bracket will come out and that'll be later in the video. Uh, but I'll make it to where it, the light bar can sit straight across. Um, here are the contents so far, the two pod lights, the 52 inch LED light bar, comes with just one set of wires, it has a built in relay, I think it's a 40 amp relay, that runs the switch that you can run inside uh, the cabin, it comes with all the bolts to mount the lights with the brackets that it comes with, again, you will reuse some of the A-pillar bolts when installing um, this bracket here. And this bracket is meant to hold not only the, the 52 inch light bar, but also the pod lights. And as you can see, it would sit right there, right where my roof rack is. But if you didn't have a roof rack, it would make this installation a hundred times quicker. All right. so. I got these little plastic washers backed off the bolts. I just want to fill those in. And they are not want to stay, so we'll do this. Put our little rubber spacer there. One bolt through there. One bolt through there. And we'll get these washers kind of started back in. On the back side. our little extension here for the drive. Okay. Here we go. Okay, for mounting the pod light, it comes with this curved shaped bracket here, a bolt, a flat washer, a locking washer, and two nuts. So, what I've done already is I attached the kind of rotating bracket, the bolt sits right in the groove and it prevents it from rotating. So you go from the bottom side. I use the flat washer here. And actually, I might have to use a bigger flat washer, but to lock that on the bottom side. And then what I'll do is this bolt here will go through and then you'll attach the, uh, I'm gonna do the locking washer and the nut on the back side of this. So we'll do that now.
as you can see I've got my positive and negative wires 14 gauge uh, ran through some conduit just for some protection I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it across the uh, back firewall if you will zip tied in and then these two ends here we'll use the uh, splices to come through here and then out there's a little see if I can use a light to show you there's a little hole that can go right through there so we'll come in and then splice the two together and then we'll take and splice in the other light on the other side okay I've got everything installed I saved you guys the torture of me just running wire and zip tying and cutting and all that stuff but I'm gonna go over it. here's the one pod light you can see I ran the wire under the cowl there into this conduit tubing all the way across where it meets the other light same thing wire goes down right underneath the behind this bracket there's a hole that goes underneath here under the cowl into this tubing I merged them like a Y comes down to one single uh, wire and then into my S pod you don't have this you'll just use the wires that they provided join them all together and then connect it to the battery and you'll run your switch through the firewall on the inside I'll show you in my Jeep here see if you can see it I'll shine a light on it there's my switch system okay I wired it into the first switch so pop that on come out and take a look they're pretty bright I don't even want to look dead in the but there's one of them and there's the other pretty bright all right got the light bar installed I had to make little custom brackets so they could bolt to my roof rack I couldn't use the supplied brackets as the bolt holes were already being used by my roof rack and I couldn't have both and I wanted to keep the roof rack so I just took L brackets as you can see I cut them to length and just mounted the rack the bolts that hold the rack together I routed that through the L bracket and then just same size bolt into the side of the light bar I ran the wire down the A pillar I'd recommend running the wire on the outside if you try and route it through your roof down the inside it can create a leak so I routed it down the inside and then as you can see into the cow the front cow goes in here and then if I can lift up the hood here came right underneath the hood down and then wired it right into my S pod all right let's see I'll turn on this light bar so I just wired it into one of the switches right in my S pod we can turn on the pod lights that came with it and then the light bar and they are bright you definitely don't want to look right into the light they are really bright very very good quality on the lights no issues they're holding up well uh, and they provide an insane amount of light as you can see very cool